So I want to share with you a couple keyboard shortcuts, a couple faster ways to work when you're placing images. This can save you tons of time if you're using a lot of images on your document. Now I tend to do a lot of books and articles and stuff like that. So I'm constantly taking screenshots or pictures from other people and I'm constantly having to slap a bunch of them on the page. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to work faster by sizing them, scaling them and all that stuff right away. So that's what we'll do. I've got a document open and I'm going to zoom in down here and I'm going to place two or three pictures right down here and just kind of size them and scale them as I work. So if I come up to file place, what you guys can do is you can select multiple images in InDesign to place. Really kind of cool. You can either shift click between pictures or you can click on one and on Windows, hold down the control key on Mac, hold down command or Apple key and click on what are called disparate files, files that aren't next to each other. I can then open those up, take a look. You got your cursor here. Now I can use my right or left arrow keys to cycle through these pictures. And what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to click and drag to, to get one out here, click and drag. You'll notice that as you click and drag in InDesign CS4, it'll scale proportionally. I'm not holding anything down. If you guys want to scale this no matter how, whichever way you want, you can hold down the shift key and drag and it will do it. Now I'm going to let go of my shift key and just kind of get it out there. I'm going to let it set in there. I'm going to let go of my mouse. I don't have any keys held down. And you guys can see I have that one there and I've got this next one ready to go. Now suppose I want to change the size. I want to fit this a little different or do something different. What's really cool, you guys, is we don't have to put them all out there and then go back. We can do it right now. If I hold down the control key on Windows or the command key on Mac, you temporarily get to the selection tool. If I then click on that picture right there, what we can do is we can kind of resize it or scale it or come up to object fitting and try some different fitting options. So I can fit content proportionally. I can fill the frame proportionally and see whatever happens here. And of course, nothing's happening. <laughs> it's because it's already fit. So what I'm going to do, guys, is this. I'm going to come to the next one. Bad example. Click and drag. I'm going to hold the shift key down to make it about the same size. And you guys are going to see that InDesign has these really cool smart guides now that say, hey, these two are the same size. I'm going to let go of my mouse, let go of the shift key, and you're going to see it's not quite working. So this is a better example. Hold on the control key on Windows before I place the next one. Command key on Mac. Click to select. If I come up to object, and you guys can use shortcuts, you can right click, whatever you want to do. I'll fill frame proportionally and just keep going. So click and drag, shift key held down, keep going across. You'll see that it lets me size and work as I go. It is doing a little finger dance. You're holding keys down. You're going up to menus using shortcuts, but it can be an easier way if you have a lot of pictures to get out on your page.